It's been three weeks since a Southern Kentucky man was murdered. Now state police are releasing new surveillance video looking for new leads. Lexington police are searching for a robber who held up a hotel clerk at gunpoint. A second person has died as a result of this weekend's head-on crash on I-75 in Madison County. We'll hear from a man who helped pull some of the victims to safety. Tracking, alerting, protecting. This is WKYT News at 430. Good afternoon, Sam Dick and Amber Philpott reporting. Police in Southern Kentucky are looking at some new surveillance video of a person of interest in a murder from earlier this month. Police in McCreary County say 66 year old Johnny Taylor was found dead inside of a burning home in the Pine Knot community. Investigators say Taylor suffered multiple stab wounds. WKYT Sean Moody is tracking the investigation. It's our top story at 4 30. It's been nearly three weeks now since first responders found Johnny Taylor stabbed to death inside his burning home. Now, Kentucky State Police are hoping new surveillance video will help them figure out what happened. Firefighters were called out to Taylor's home in Pine Knot late on the night of December 12th. The house was burning, and when firefighters went inside, police said they found Taylor's body with stab wounds. They say a medical examiner determined Taylor died from those stab wounds, not from the fire. State police haven't made any arrests since then, but they're hoping this video will spark some new leads. They say this is Taylor's pickup truck at a gas station hours after the fire. It appears to show a woman get out of the passenger seat, buy a soda from a vending machine, and hop back in. Police don't know who the people in the truck are, but they want to talk to them. If one person could see that and say, I saw that truck that night, or I think I might know who that is, you know, at least we could go talk to them and Either find out if they had anything to do with it or if they know something or, or not. It could be that one clue that we need to solve a case. Now, state police say whoever had that truck later burned it. They said they found it two days later. In McCreary County, Sean Moody, WKYT. Taylor was 66 years old. State police say he had just been released from jail on bond that morning after being charged with public intoxication. Well, it looks like we will be ending 2014 with clear skies and cold air. The sun was trying to peek out ever so little bit. Chief Meteorologist Chris Bailey, I think I saw it for just a second out there. Yeah, indeed, a little sunshine finally for a change out there, Sam. And, uh, you know, you kind of go have to go back to way, way back in November, late November, to find a string of mainly sunshiny days across central and eastern Kentucky. We'll take that and run with it. Here's how we are ending our Tuesday afternoon with a lot of temperatures into the mid-30s throughout the entire region. 36 popular for Lexington, Mount Sterling, Moorhead, down into Richmond. Wind chill into the upper 20s. That will continue to drop. As we go through the next several hours, live first alert defender, nothing is out there. A little bit of cloud cover to our north and to our south. If you're out and about this evening, as the sun sets, it's a quick drop in temperatures. You've got a lot of dry air that is in place. And with mainly clear skies, temperatures will hit the upper 20s quickly by 7 o'clock and drop toward the low and mid 20s as we roll toward 11 this evening. That's a sign of things to come, guys, as we wrap up 2014. First day of 2015 looks to be in pretty good shape, but coming up, I'm going to show you why we have the potential to see a little wintry weather by the time we hit day two of the new year. Chris, thank you. Lexington police continue to look for the robber who put a gun to a hotel clerk's head. The man held up the Candlewood Suites near New Circle Road and Newtown Pike about 2.30 this morning. The clerk says the gunman jumped over the counter and threatened to kill him if he didn't give him the money from the register. The robber then demanded money from the safe, but when the clerk couldn't open the safe, the robber grabbed his wallet and ran off. Police say he drove off in a dark-colored SUV. They hope surveillance video will help them make an arrest. A sad update to a story we've been tracking since the weekend. A second person has now died as a result of a fiery crash on Interstate 75 in Madison County. The Fayette County Coroner's Office says 38 year old Melissa Mead died this morning at UK Hospital. Her car crashed into a van on Saturday night. The driver of that van, 41 year old Christopher Truesdale, was also killed. WKYT's Hillary Thornton has reaction from a man. He was one of, the, one of several people who helped pull victims from the car, including two children. Army Ranger Joshua Settle was driving back to Fort Binding, Georgia after visiting his family here in Kentucky. As he approached mile marker 96 just after that violent crash. This is video shot by Settle's wife as they drove up to the crash. Investigators say a car driven by Melissa Mead with her two children as passengers 
collided with Christopher Truesdell's van, causing the van to burst into flames. Settle says he, as well as many other drivers in the area, immediately got out and worked to pull the victims to safety. Both drivers and the two children were rushed to UK hospital. Mead and Truesdell later died from their injuries. Man, maybe I could have done this, or maybe I could have done that. Maybe I could have, you know. If only I would have had a fire extinguisher. I couldn't have lived with myself, you know, knowing that there was somebody up there that needed my help. It just really bothered me, you know, because, I mean, two kids lost their mom and some other family lost a brother, father. Settle says his thoughts are with those families as well as all the others who responded to the crash. He also says he is hopeful the children will make a full recovery. In Madison County, Hillary Thornton, WKYT. And that crash remains under investigation by the Madison County Sheriff's Office. There's another change in leadership for Fayette County Schools. John Kaiser, the longtime director of transportation, is retiring. The Herald Leader reports Kaiser's retirement will be effective Thursday. The school district is still in the middle of searching for a new superintendent after Dr. Tom Shelton announced his resignation in November. Chief Academic Officer Lou Young is also retiring on December 31st. The New York Police Department is on special alert for tomorrow's New Year's Eve festivities, how they are preparing next.